Hey guys and welcome to another Rocket League video and in this one we will take a look at the new Radical Summer event in Rocket League which will start in 5 days on June 10th and will last till August 12th. So it will last for around 9 weeks. And yeah, let's watch the trailer. There you go. And the trailers without music because of copyrights, so just though you know. And as you can see we have a Hollywood map. Well, I'm pretty sure this will be a new map. And what's also interesting, the car is driving outside of the map. And there were also cars um, staying outside. And this is the new first new DLC car and there we have a new topper and that's ET T wheels and there's the car I was waiting for for ever when the Back to the Future car released, I was thinking about this car has to be in the game and finally, finally, they implement the Knight Rider car. Probably one of the most iconic cars in movie history. And there you have Ghost Hunt, it's a new game mode. And Spy Crush. It looks a lot like Spike only, but it seems like there the spikes are permanent. And we have a beach volleyball a game mode on Salty Shores. It didn't seem to be a, a different map, but I'm very sure that the ball mechanics are different. So yeah, that's the trailer. I want to go back in a little. And here we have a new goal explorer. I mean, that's pretty funny. And here's what I mentioned before, the car is driving outside of the map and as you can see in a moment, here are other cars. Uh, we have a Merc, we have a Breakout and I don't know which car this is. It might be a new car. Yeah, I, I don't think this car is in the game yet. Can we see it? Any other cars here? Let's slow it a bit down. And there's a Dominos. And there's another green car which I don't know. It's hard to see. Do we have any other cars here? Uh, this car's in the game, there's a Merc. I don't think there are any other cars, but the first car is probably a new car. This one. On the left side. So yeah, very exciting. And the most exciting thing for me is that the car were driving, the cars were driving outside of the map because a lot of people were asking for an open world in Rocket League where you can drive outside the map and this could be it. I mean, it looks a lot like it. And yeah, you might have played uh, Need for Speed Online. There you have an open map where you can drive around outside uh, the games. So if Rocket League gets an open map, an open world map, that would be massive because the possibilities would increase by a lot. But yeah, let's take a look what else do we have here. Totally red man, grab your mixtapes and go back in time to experience the most retros uh, decade ever the 80s. Nine week event featuring new premium battle cars, free items, limited time game modes and more Shh, it's a secret. So what I think what this means could be as mentioned the open world. 
or we could have weekly tournament events because I guess like one or one and a half years ago a caster from Rocket League said that Psyronix was planning on weekly events and yeah for example um, <clears throat> uh, Fortnite does have weekly competitions in game and Epic just bought um, Psyronix with Rocket League and I'm pretty sure we will have this very very soon in Rocket League as well and here as you can see we have three different themes the first uh, theme is blockbusters which is from June 10th to June 30th the next one is culture which is from July 1st to July 21 and then we have television which is the last of the three from July 22 to August 12th and here we have the new battle cars and that's the Ghostbusters car and yeah I mean a lot of people were asking for this car and probably even more people were asking for the Knight Rider car so we get the first one on June 10th and the second one on July 22th though it takes quite a while for the Knight Rider car to get released but I will definitely buy it it's my favorite car in all movies and yeah, I'm very excited that they finally get the chance to release this car. And what else do we have coming soon? 80s blockbusters, a showtime crap a front row seat for the first phase of Radical Summer, a celebration of 18 movies, earn cassettes by playing online matches and redeem for in-game items from iconic blockbusters of the decades so that's quite interesting because does that mean that it's not only an event because let's take a look back at the trailer uh, where was it all right so we have uh, a building a blockbuster building and it says now playing Ghostbusters and there is Truffle Shuffle, I'm not sure which movie this is. We have Ghostbusters, Back to the Future and I mean the car is driving inside, of, uh, inside the cinema but I think is a possibility that we will have a chance to watch movies in Rocket League. I mean, that's quite optimistic, but from everything which was mentioned in this update, I mean, maybe? What do you think? Is it a possibility or am I crazy? Because it's clearly saying grab a front seat grab a front row seat for the first phase of Radical Summer, a celebration of 80s movies. And yeah, I'm not sure, maybe. And here we have a few items, Ectoplasma Boost, 120 cassettes, so the cassettes are probably the currency, like Snowflakes and Candy Corn, which we had before. Next one is ET Wheels, they're quite nice. Um, here we have Ghostbusters wheels, also okay, I mean the wheels uh, look quite basic. I probably won't use them, but yeah. Here we have a banner, BKR, and here we have a hoverboard, that's definitely because Back to the Future. And here we have Marty Jr. Topper. Also back to the future. Do we see anything else? Nope. And here we have Goonies. Also a topper and I don't know from which movie this is. I have no idea. And here we have Miyagi Do. That's probably because of Karate Kid. But I'm not sure. And here we have Cobra Kai, probably also because of Karate Kid, not because of PewDiePie. 
And yeah, let's scroll down. And here is the first new limited time game mode, Ghost Hunt. Fire your proton stream to capture the ball and carry it to the opposing team's spooky containment zone. Score a point by keeping the ball in the containment zone for two seconds. Outscore your opponent before the time runs out and win. So what this basically means is you don't have to score into the goal. You basically place and try to keep the ball in front of the goal for at least two seconds. And this one looks like a mix of Crappler and Magnet probably. And the ball looks a lot like drop shot. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting because it's long time ago that we had a new game mode. The last one was, uh, I guess, drop shot. And it's long ago. And yeah, it's a limited time game mode and Fortnite, for example, has those limited time modes which are very successful because people uh, play them when they are limited. But as you can see in Rocket League, only a few players still play Rumble, Drop Shot, and the other limited time game modes. Uh, not limited time game modes, the other extra game modes. Because, yeah, they are nothing special anymore, but when they are limited, I think. Many more people will play them, and I'm pretty sure that's the direction um, Psyronix and Epic decided to go for Rocket League with limited time game modes uh, cycling every few weeks, or maybe every week. And then we have the Golden Egg, and this time we don't have the CC1, CC2, 3, 4 crates inside, we have the Elevation. Victory, Turbo Crates and Nitro Crates. And yeah, you can only earn up to 5. And I think the existing Golden Eggs in players' inventories at this point will be replaced by the new one. Uh, like they did with the Players' Champions Crate, which was also replaced by the new one. And yeah, that's it. What do you think about this update? Are you excited? And what do you think is their secret? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, have a nice day. And see you in my next video.